G'day guys and girls, it's Captain Carter and welcome back to the Sydney 1850 map here in Transport Fever. Today's episode, we're going to create some new bus lines. So if you've been watching from the start of the series, you would have seen that Sydney Cove and Darling Harbour here used to be two separate entities. They've now merged into one gargantuan city. If we're going to go drop our populations off, um, Redfern actually trumps them both for overall size. But when you combine the both of these together, you're looking in excess of about 5,500 in terms of population in this area alone. Redfern has exploded and is just about across 3,400. Um, Balmain, not too far off, 2371 out of a relatively small area. When you look at the total size of Balmain, and if I turn on the land use here, Balmain actually hasn't got that much residential, but there's a, quite a few high rises where they've got a lot of people living. So Balmain's got a population of 2380, which is ridiculous for the size it is. Um, and then you come up here to St. Leonard's, or even, sorry, even go down to Newtown, 2287 in Newtown, and they're all sort of spread out all over the shop. I'll turn my, um, my logos back on here, because the logos are always helpful. This is the reason why we need to start looking at some different commuter routes. Now, Newtown, not so much, because the bus lines here reach everywhere, which is great. But when you look over here in Sydney, now I've literally just added this extension, this cross piece, and this cross piece. This road and part of this one here was already existing. So these guys are all pushing out all the way down here, and you can tell that they're sort of petered off down here because the bus line here for the Sydney East commuter sort of stops about here. You know, the next one's up there, you know, as you get towards the uh, the Opera House, which is now all taken up by our commercial our commercial buildings up in this little, this little cove up here. This is all sort of keeping itself alive and busy because there's plenty of bus, there's plenty of bus stops here to cover everyone. But we need to push these buses down this arm. And the way I plan on doing that, let's just load up the Sydney East commuter line here. And let's have a look at it. Now, the commuter line goes via Hickory Street here and Madison Street. Now, what I want to do is throw in possibly an extra stop about, I don't know, maybe here. Possibly get rid of Madison Street because at the moment it overlaps really well with Davis Street and Hickory Street already covers it. So I think I can get rid of Madison Street here completely and entirely. What we might do... Let's do this the smart way. Let's load up one of our little bus and tram stops. I'd really like to use one of my um, my nice new ones here. But I feel that they're going to be a bit pointless. Because they've got a U-turn bay and there's no purpose for the, that U-turn bay yet. So if we were to drop, let's say, if we were to put a bus stop there and a bus stop there, then we'll go further down and drop one there there. Then we'll drop another one down this end of town. Do the same thing as we come up this side. And then that should line up up there with Hickory Street now. If I'm right, if I highlight Hickory Street gets to there, that bus stop will cover these ones here. That little one house there is covered by the South Street stop here. So this is where I need to pause everything because I'm about to break stuff. Madison Street needs to go. Both sides. Now it's going to break itself and go, what do you want me to do? The Madison Street stop needs to be deleted. So from Adam Street on the initial loop, it's then going to go via Ash Street, South Street, 12th, Spruce, we will then get rid of Madison and it'll go to Hickory Street. Now the Hickory Street stop also has to be demolished and moved because we're now coming around the corner. So you know, get out of that road. Thank you. There we go. All right, that's fixed up Hickory Street now. Now it sort of ducks and weaves around there. That's good. We go down here to Hickory Street again. Add some new ones. We're going to go, and go Spruce, 12th, South, and Ash. Get rid of Madison. Fix the loop. Perfectly fine. This will now hopefully encourage the growth down and around this area, which is exactly what we want to do. The more we can push bus lines out here, the more people are going to want to move out here. 
more people that move out here, the more people, you know, the more population the area gets, the bigger things grow, which is excellent. That's exactly what we want now. So that's the Sydney East commuter now sort of buttoned up. Hopefully we'll see some growth in there. If you've been tracking, this area around here was sort of starting to grow, but now it has absolutely exploded. Um, and as you can tell, I, I've, I'm trying to get as many people as I possibly can jammed onto buses, but I just can't. Let's have a look at the Sydney South to Redfern commuter here. There's quite the backlog trying to head in here to Park Street. We need to make some sort of terminal because these guys are all getting bunched up and bunching is not what we want. That does mean I'm going to have to take a slice at some of these big residential buildings, which is a shame, but we need a proper bus station here. Why isn't that little road there linked up? Little sad road, what are you doing there? So Park Street. Mm. I should have fixed this up a couple of episodes ago. I knew I should have, but I was avoiding it. And I think I know why I was avoiding it. But I can't avoid it anymore. So let's go to a four terminal. Two terminal? No, we'll go four. Four covers our butt. We want electric tram track. Construction not possible. Right, 1.32 million. Do it. Unbelievably, it's actually called that Redfern Halt. And the buses are going to go chuck a U-turn in there. Not anymore. This is going to be the Redfern... I think I already had a Redfern bus terminal, didn't I? No, it's the tram station. Not what I wanted. But the buses also use it anyway, but this is the Redfern bus station over here. This is exactly what we want because this is where we have a lot of commuter lines running in. So... Pause. Add. Uh, you won't let me do it the way I want you to do it. Fine, Park Street. Go to there, remove Park Street. Redfern Bus Terminal is now the very start of everything. Uh, it then goes, sorry, let me just trace where I'm going here. It then goes from Birch Street back to Park Street. After Birch Street, I want you to go back to the bus terminal. Ha 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 ha. Park Street stop is now removed. Wonderful. Press play. Excellent. We should now be able to push all these buses out of the way because they're holding up the trams as well and I don't want to be holding them. those guys there up. So the Redfern commuter. So the Redfern commuter stops at Park Street on stop 15 and stop 25. Comes from Lee Street. After Lee Street, you will go to there. You will then remove Park Street. That sorts that out. And now the exit's going to be absolutely insane. After Washington Street, when you come back, you will then go to the bus terminal. You can now remove Park Street. There we go. That should fix a lot of our problems on that run as well, which means Park Street Stop can now be demolished. Right, that should fix the delay here up with any bit of luck. The buses are sort of all champing through as best as they can, and to be quite genuine, I think we want the buses to go to Terminal 4 and Terminal 1 and put the trams on 2 and 3. Okay, so, they're all trying to use the same ones at the moment, and I don't want them to do that. So what we're going to do, the buses, so let's move, so that's, let me just sort of plan this out here. Six goes in that way, so you can go to there, you can go to there, and you can go to there. How does that look? Does that break everything? Hopefully not. So that tram is coming in. He will drive straight into Terminal 3. He should then do a loop around via that inside track there at Terminal 1. 
So this now pushes the buses to the outsides of the terminal. Which appears to be working. There goes the tram. Okay. Looks like we've already cleared up a little bit of our backlog. That's fantastic. I can't believe it. I think we've actually fixed stuff. Um, whoa. Okay, so the Graf Zeppelin ferry. Actually, that's something we haven't looked at in a while. Let's quickly go and have a look at our ferry before we sort of do anything else. Because we did have the boats going. And they are being used. I can't believe it. 15 year. And they've, they've been making a little bit of profit. Not a great deal. Okay. I'm actually reasonably impressed. By all ways and means, that probably shouldn't have worked. Let's, um... Can we get anything faster? What are we using there? The Zurix? No, we're using that, the Schaffhausen, because it does 27, that does 25, that does 26, that does 27. Huh. Oh, we do have the uh, the hovercraft back. Yes. Okay. Replace them now. Uh huh. Because we don't necessarily have the passenger capacity at the moment or the passenger requirement to put a ton of um, to put a ton of uh, hovercrafts in. So I'm pretty happy at the moment just to have two. And that's then going to make it ultra quick for everyone to jump back and forth between Manly and Balgala. They might even make it... I was going to say it might even make it worthwhile to try and do a ferry between here and Sydney, but I think that's going to be too slow. Especially at 100 kilometres an hour. Mind you, it may pay off. Oh, but we had the express train, but that and that didn't. Which reminds me, I do have an uh, express line there that I'm not using. The Red Rattlers, however, are doing their job. That's fantastic. Everything up here appears to be... Pretty much doing as it should, and of course the Paddington Machine Factory and the Construction Materials Plant are both screaming at me. Why does that surprise me in the slightest? You want to ship more items. Well, as you can see, mate, I'm doing the best I jolly well can. And that's about all I can do. Why is there now a hold up for all those trains going back through Redfern? Why is this so? Why is it so? Why is it so? Why is it so? What's holding me up now? You're all kind of going. Hmm. Interestingly enough, they're also all coming out relatively full. This line makes me an absolute mozza. Finances. Well, actually, for the last couple of years, they've they haven't made a cent. Why? Because they're all sitting there waiting to to offload. I think I've got too many trains on there. How many, seriously, how many have I got? Far too many. Because they're all banked up. And there's now not really enough demand. I think we could axe a good six of them. And we'd be comfortable. Problem is, where's my depot now? I've moved my depot. Where did I put it? Someone tell me where I put the depot. I did something with it. Do I have any train yards here at all? Sure I do. I mean, it'd be silly if I don't. Do I? I'll be goddamned. I don't have a depot. I got rid of all the depots. That was possibly a really dumb idea, because if I now go to this train here and I tell you, go to the depot, Unable to find a path. Perfect. No path, which means I can't sell the trains, which means I'm going to do that next time. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Well, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed it. I know I've enjoyed making it for you. Let's uh, let's view the chaos. Here, coming out of action. No, 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 no. I have a better idea. Let's view the chaos here. 
Let's let's position this camera just nicely. All right, let's let's watch the chaos from this point here. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Captain Carter. If you like this video, chuck a like at it. If you've got any questions, queries, comments, or if you've got a mod suggestion, or if you're now watching all the people cross via the grass at the station to go to the platform, because that makes total sense. I think I know why that's happening. Actually, I do know why that's happening, but I'm not going to tell you. It's a surprise. Uh, if you know why that is, leave your answer down in the comments below. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button already, what are you still doing here? Press the subscribe button before you leave this page. I've been Captain Carter. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later.